So I, I get asked this question a lot about technology. Uh, people try to understand everything there is about technology. And what I say a lot of times is, you don't need to know how it works. You just need to understand what it does for you. Now, the reasoning behind this, let's just think about what's happening with technology these days. As humans, we live a linear life, but technology grows exponentially. So here's an analogy. You take 30 paces down a hall, and you will end up at the end of a hall. So we call that 30 linear paces. However, if you take 30 exponential paces and you continue walking, you will have walked 26 times around the earth. That is the difference between thinking linear versus exponential. So Gordon Moore, who's the co-founder of Intel in 1965 made a conclusion. He said, you know what? Technology doubles every 18 to 24 months. Um, that's just because we're able to pack down more transistors and tighter space. We're getting more computing power. And you know what? What Gordon Moore has said, we call it Moore's Law, still holds true to this day. If you look at the graphs, technology has basically doubled every 18 to 24 months. And so what's happening is we're getting that much more computing power, that much more uh, com computational power, and the database, think of, we used to use Encyclopedia Britannica, now we use Google, basically, and what was life before Google? A lot of people don't even know what that means anymore. Um, so technology is at our fingertips. What's happening in the future is we're gonna see a lot more advancements. So there's a famous game right now that came out, uh, it was pretty popular, called Pokemon Go. What it did and demonstrated to us is the ability to do augmented reality. What that means is you're looking at your camera, you're looking at the real world, but superimposed on top of that is some technology. Here's another example, you're in the supermarket, you're in a library, you hold up your phone, uh, whatever your technology is, and the augmented reality would give you an instant review and tell you, look, uh, there's an E. coli breakout on broccoli right now, so don't buy that. Um, you know, there's a sale price going on on this book, or here's a great review, or here's the IMDB review for it. So that information would be superimposed. The next step after that is complete virtual reality, where you immerse yourself completely in the world, and so there can be fabricated an entirely other world, and we've seen many different movies that have come out recently about that. Um, so this is where we're headed. Now, what's gonna happen at some point in our near future, uh, it really will, is this notion of singularity. And what that means is, Imagine explaining the internet to somebody a thousand years ago. It, it, they just can't even fathom what you're talking about. They can't understand, they can't comprehend it. Well, technology is suddenly going to take off to a point where there are going to be new innovations every day that we just simply can't understand. You're never gonna be able to figure out how does that even work, where is that coming from, and that is what we're getting to, is this point where technology is gonna go through at breakneck speeds, and there's gonna be so many new things that are gonna come out that you possibly can't understand how it works. You're just gonna have to say, oh well, I mean, there's new technology and it does this. Just to summarize, the reason that I'm bringing this up is I want a lot of you to, to just understand that there's certain pieces of technology that they just work and it just, it does something for you, it brings you from point A to point B, whatever it might be, and you don't necessarily need to understand how, how it works, and that's a problem with a lot of people is they get really hung up on learning new technology because they feel like they need to understand how it works. The best people who learn are the ones who are actually children, and the reason for that is because children don't have a fear. When children go and try technology, they just push the buttons, they mash them, they swipe the screen, but they have no fear of breaking it. However, adults ha are actually holding themselves back on learning new technology because they have this worry that they're going to break something and that there's going to cause a problem and how are we going to fix it afterwards. And that's something that you need to overcome is this fear of technology and just learning to go and jump in feet first and figure it out. So. It's kind of a challenge that I have for you is, when it comes to technology, I would like you to have a different view on things. 
to understand and approach technology in a different way because I'm telling you, if you're thinking that the technology we have nowadays with uh, our personal tricorders that we have in our hand and you know Google at our fingertips with this magic box that has all the answers, um, you have no idea what's coming next. It is, uh, I'm personally, I'm very excited about it. I think there are some precautions that need to go in play to make sure that um, it protects us, protects human life. It's, you know, good versus evil. But I, I really do believe that there's some really exciting things that are coming in our near future when it comes to technology. And I'd love you to have an open mind on understanding this is what it can do for me. This is how it can benefit me. And I don't need to understand how it works. Thank <laughs> you.